Hello everyone. And in today's video, we're going to talk about mole fraction in vapor fish. Okay, we'll talk about mole fraction of solute or solvent in vapor fish. So if you remember in my previous videos, that is the topic called as solution and colligative property. Solution and colligative property. If you haven't seen the video of this particular topic, you can go into my playlist and you can just check it out. Okay and then you can continue with this particular video so in this particular topic solution and colligative property i have taught you the raoult's law raoult's law and also the mole fraction in liquid phase so if you remember we had raoult's law and in that we have found the mole fraction of a liquid in vapor phase sorry uh, in a liquid phase uh, if you remember the formula suppose this is the particle of solvent okay and the red color is showing the particle of solute okay and in this we have considered that both the components are volatile both the component are volatile that is solute and solvent both are volatile so they will both form their respective vapor okay and the Vapor pressure we can find it by Raoult's law that is PA is equal to P naught A into XA. You already know this particular formula if you have watched my video. Okay. Now we also have a formula to find out the mole fraction of these liquid. Mole fraction of the liquid. Okay. That is if I want to find out the mole fraction of A, then XA represents the mole fraction of A, which is nothing but Na upon Na plus NB right in the same way we can find out also the mole fraction for solute that is nb upon na plus nb okay but this is the mole fraction in a liquid phase this is in a liquid phase suppose this is completely enclosed in a closed container let's close it okay so now there will be some of the particle of this a and b in the vapor phase obviously and we want to find out this mole fraction mole fraction of simply speaking mole fraction of a and b in vapor phase okay so for that we are having a formula a very important formula that is y a or you can say x dash a that is mole fraction of a in vapor phase this is this formula represents mole fraction in vapor phase okay that is given as partial pressure of a upon partial pressure of a plus partial pressure of b instead of this you can also write partial pressure of A upon total pressure. Now here, there will be a pressure of A at the same time, there is a pressure of B as well. Okay, so pressure of A plus B is called as total pressure. It's called as total pressure. So if you know the value of PA and the total pressure, you can find out the mole fraction in vapor phase. Let's move further. Now, I can just elaborate this formula Okay, you can just change it into a different form like suppose x day x dash a that is mole fraction of a in vapor phase is nothing but pa upon p total this can also be written in a different way now pa can be written as p naught a into x a divided by p total now you'd be thinking how this formula how this came so if you remember raoult's law if you remember Raoult's law, the first statement that is vapor pressure of any liquid is directly proportional to mole fraction of that liquid into the solution. So by that formula, we can give PA is equal to P naught A into XA. So in a simple way, I have just substituted the value over here. Okay. Now in the same way, I can also write for mole fraction of B in vapor phase that is nothing but PB upon P total, which can be given as P naught B into xb upon p total so this is also the way 
to find out the mole fraction in wave profiles. Now we know that x dash a plus x dash b that will be sum of mole fraction in vapor phase is equal to 1 okay so now what i'll do i'll just substitute this value over here okay so x dash a is nothing but p naught a into x a upon p total plus p naught b into x b upon p total this xa and xb stands for mole fraction of a in liquid phase and this is mole fraction of b in liquid phase that is comes out to be total one now just just do the mathematical operation you can see over here in both of them the pt is common so what we can do is we can take this pt on a right hand side so this is nothing but p naught a into xa plus p naught b into x b that is equal to p total this particular formula we have already studied in raoult's law in raoult's law when both the components are in a both the components are of volatile nature now from this particular formula i can just do the manipulation i'll get a bit different formula i just show you x a is nothing but x a will nothing but x dash a into p total upon p naught a in a similar way i'll i can also get for xb that is x dash b that is mole fraction of b in vapor phase into p total upon p naught b okay now we know that xa plus xb is equal to y let's substitute the values so xa is nothing but p naught a into xa upon pt plus p naught b into xb upon pt there is a slightly change this is x dash a and this is x dash b into p total should be in the numerator and in the denominator we are having p naught a and p naught b so just write it so it is x dash a into p total upon p naught a and this is again p total into x dash b upon p naught b that comes out to be 1 we know that in both of them the p total is common so what we can write we can take p total common and the final formula will be x dash a upon p naught a plus x dash b upon p naught b is equal to 1 upon p total this is a very very important formula okay which we'll use while solving the numerical okay i'll just write it once again so you can just observe it carefully so we have studied right now x dash a upon p naught a plus x dash b upon p naught b is equal to 1 upon p total that is the total vapor pressure now, this formula is really really very important while solving the numerical now instead of writing x dash a and x dash b that is mole fraction in liquid and mole fraction in vape that is mole fraction of a in vapor phase and mole fraction of b in vapor phase we can also write y a and y b okay now let's let's derive another formula we know that y a or x dash a x dash a is nothing but it is equal to p naught a into x a upon p total and x dash b or you can write it y b is equal to p naught a into sorry p naught b into x b upon p total so this is suppose equation one and this is equation two just divide one by two so what we'll get we'll get x a upon x dash a upon x dash b that is ratio of mole fraction in vapor phase that is equal to p naught a into x a upon p naught b into 
xb and we know that xa is nothing but na upon na plus nb and xb is nothing but nb upon na plus b right so in both the uh, formula as you can see the denominator is same the denominator is same so on taking the ratio over here if you substitute the value over here in these two position you will get this particular formula i'll just write it so that is nothing but x dash a upon x dash b is equal to p not a into n a upon p not p into n b this formula is really important in order to solve the numerical so you have to keep these formulas in your mind in order to solve the numericals okay so this is all about the mole fraction in vapor phase i hope you enjoyed the video thanks a lot for watching the video I